Hey, what's going on guys, Steven here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Now, before we get into the video, I just like to remind you guys to please do that like and subscribe button for enjoying the video. So, leave a comment down below in order to help me make more money. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. So as you can see right here, I've just got my thing synced up right there. Now on the screen right now, there will be a couple timestamps to uh, what you're gonna wanna to essentially. Man, what the fuck is you what talking the about? Fuck was that? No, I'm sorry, sorry, man. No, 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 no. Just the different parts of the tutorial. So we have just me covering the twister and the masking and stuff. And if you already know how to do that, you can go ahead and skip over to the second part, which is just gonna be all of the effects basically. And then there will be a third part where I cover the impact and the shockwaves and whatnot. Uh, but we'll get to that uh, later. Uh, so yeah, just going to skip through to whatever you want. But I'm going to get started on the twist and the masking part right here. So essentially, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just go into your video effects tab, switch to Twister Pro. Uh, go ahead and drag in your preset for whatever it is. You can just go and copy my settings right here if you need to. Uh, go ahead and keyframe speed percentage. Go up here and go back to sort of here uh right there and there shouldn't be anything in between the character what no you just add a keyframe right there go forward one you set this like 50 depends on what the clip looks like you don't want it to be too slow you don't want it to be too fast either you want it to be just uh, lukewarm i guess i don't know uh but yeah once you've done that just go to the uh the way the impact should be you go one two three four frames back you add a keyframe right here you go forward and you drag this up until the character goes blue and he drags out like an AR or whatnot and it should look like that. Now you go one frame forward from this, you set this to 50. Uh, and hopefully it shouldn't mess up like that did for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that messed up, but yeah, it shouldn't look like that once you've figured it out. And once you've done that, it should be pretty good. Uh, now, if you're gonna wanna go ahead and mask this, you either just render it out and mask it with the Twixter because with this particular mask, you don't actually need to be 100% accurate. So what you can do is, uh, if you don't wanna rotor brush it on AE, I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but you can rotor brush it. Uh, what you can do is just actually just go ahead and render all of this out. You render it out just normally, and then you drag the video track on top, and then you just go through, you enable mask right here, click on the first keyframe, and then you just uh, mask everything out essentially. And you're gonna wanna mask everything out from where the Twixter starts, so that'll be right there. So you want to mask everything out from here to the middle part, essentially. And, you know, there is quite a significant amount of frames in between here. It's like 20 frames or whatnot. Shouldn't really take you that long, uh, but that's what you're going to need to do. So uh, instead of me actually having to render this out, I'm just going to be dragging in the stuff that I have prepared. All right. So now once you have everything prepared, you have your mask up here. This shouldn't really have an audio track. Once you have your mask right here and you have the bottom track right here with the Twixter, uh, you can get started with the second part. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just duplicate the mask. Just right click on that, duplicate track, head into the description and download the file that is down there. Uh, from there, you just want to apply the preset skin glow blue aura. You apply it to the bottom mask right there and it should look like that. Now you fade this in by like 10 frames, I guess. And uh, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just split the bottom track right there. You press S right there and you press S right there. Go into your video effects tab, search for VHS, VHS, just drag mask background in here. I can go ahead and just scroll through my settings right here so that you guys can just copy them if you want, just like so. Set the bend with original to 100. Uh, go ahead and go 10 frames in right there and set it to zero. And it should work out just like that. And now what you're going to go ahead and do is just go into your video effects tab, search for edge rays, just drag that to the top. Uh, set the length up a bit, set the brightness down to like one, and change the color to something that fits with the background. I think that's going to be something like that, I guess. I think that'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, once you have something that looks sort of like this, what you're going to go ahead and do is just apply the overhead impact from the description on to the clip right here. So just I'm just going to and drag in three. It probably won't be in the description. It'll be like one or something. Uh, but you just go and drag that in or you can use your own doesn't really matter uh, But yeah, if we're going to pre-render this right here, we should have something that looks like this All right now once you've added the impact and you have the mask and everything and it looks just like this You're gonna go ahead and drag in the shock wave from the description uh, Onto a video track just like that uh, now we're gonna get started on the sort of ripple thing so that everything just sort of fits together 
Uh, so just go into your video effects tab, search for BCC Ripple, just like so, and just go ahead and then drag in the default version right that. It should come in like that. So uh, it will just sort of spawn up here for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, it just is what it is really. Uh, but now we're going to change the settings for intermediate. So just set radius to 500, set height to like 85, set perpendicular height to 0, wave width to 360, uh, set the speed to 1, 0, 0 right here, and the falloff should be on 100. Uh, and now the light level should be on 0. And now what we need to do is we need to keyframe the inside radius and normal radius. So the inside radius and normal radius should be right there. And we go up here and we set this to 1,500 and we set this to 1,000. Let me just make sure that those are the correct values. Uh, it really just depends on how you want it to look. Uh, for me, I'm going to set this to 2,000. I'm going to set that to 1,500. Uh, but you want the gap to be sort of uh, 1,500 in between. We right click, set those to fast. And then we go up into the FX chain right here and drag this all the way to the left behind the shake. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it fit in a whole lot more. And as you can see, it, it looked pretty cool. Just like that. And now what we want to do is we're going to go to Video Effects tab once again. We search for Warp Waves, just like so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, drag in the Impact uh, Wave right there. We just drag that on there, drag it back, uh, drag it right before the Ripple. And what we want to do right here is actually just set the Amplitude right there to zero. You want to set the angle to like 55 something like that and uh, after that we should be all good to go with that so now we just keyframe the amplitude go to the end and then we just set it to uh to actually we want to set it to 30 0, 0, 3 right there we just go to the end and we set it to like 0, 0, 1. uh we set that to fast as well obviously and uh now if we go back it should look like a wave So yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, what we need to do now is just drag the shock wave on top of that. We're gonna go ahead and trim it a bit so that we don't really we don't really want the small parts right there. So we just go ahead and trim that out. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to control C the event attributes from this onto the top. So we just press Control C and then we right click on the shock wave, paste with attributes right there, and everything should just sort of fit together. Now we go to the end. We hold Control on our keyboard and we time stretch this back. Just like so and this is gonna make it so that everything just happens quicker now it's a bit too fast for my liking so i'm gonna go and time stretch it back but and we just drag it to the right if we want to time stretch it back uh just like so let's try and stretch it a bit more back and we split it right there and we just fade it out uh so now if we can see so look here if you think that looks good uh for me i'm probably just gonna go ahead and trim the end right there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of drag it out like that. Uh, but yeah, once you've done that, just go ahead and drag that over the uh, the character. Or you can have it in the middle as well. It doesn't really matter to me. But uh, for me, I'm going to put it on the character. Uh, and last thing I'm going to want to do is just go into the effects tab and search for flicker. Uh, just go and drag the default on. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and play around with it. But, you know, for me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, once we have that, if we're going to pre-render the effect, it should look pretty decent. Yeah. Just like so. Uh, but now the last thing we want to do is actually just render out this part in specific, the part with just the mask. So just press Control, uh, just save it. And then render this out, we're going to render this out in some pretty high settings right here. Just make sure that you render it out in the same frame size as the project is so that you don't disturb any of the actual uh, blomo curves or any of the effects with like the guidance or whatever the grid system in vegas is just absolutely awful in case you're curious as to why that happens it's because when you change the uh the project resolution you change the grid so normally it's on like a like a one by one scale so it's on zero to one and then it like goes up into the side and whatnot you can you can see it in blomo curves you can see it in like edge rays and all that stuff uh, but when you change the project file, you actually just change the size of those pixels. Instead of being a one by one, it becomes like a, I think it's a four by four or something like that. So it, it makes the the effect confused as to where it is. And it just goes either a lot to the left, a lot to the right. 
Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's not centered. It's not where you want it to be. Uh, so now, once that is done, just drag that on top. You delete the audio track. Uh, you're going to go into your video effects tab, search for blur more curves. Just go and drag default on here. Go like two thirds of the way in. Keep from Z distance. That's like 0 0.7. Go here. Set that to 0 0.9. Uh, go to the start. Set this to either fast or smooth. Depends on what you like. You can try both. Uh, and now once you're here, you're gonna set the center. Just make sure that the center looks fine. I'm gonna set this like so like there And now if we go and pre-render this uh, It should look a whole lot better. Now keep in mind. This is not gonna be the final effect Just like that now you can set it to fast if you want uh but for me it doesn't really matter because it's a tutorial you can do you can play around with that you can do whatever you want uh the last thing we're gonna do is go into our video effects tab search for dissolve shake and just drag this on here now these are my settings uh x shake right there y shake right there z shake and tilt shake uh but yeah now we just drag the dissolve amount to zero keyframe like go like here uh and drag that up go with like 0, 0.1 set that to slow and that is going to add some significant y shake to that we can drag that back a bit uh but yeah once you've done that the entire effect should pretty much be done now uh thank you guys so, so much for watching if you did enjoy them, just like them below comment subscribe all the good shit and i'll see you guys in a couple days and uh peace